Welcome to another edition of SellMyComicBooks.com Vintage Comic Book Unboxing. You can see the stack is gone. And this is the fifth box. My name is Sean G. This is Sean M. Behind the camera is Duke. Hello. Orange Knife. Let's get into it. I'm not going to sit here and blab. We'll do. We'll leave the blabbing. Oh. Okay. Let me get rid of that. And we got, hmm. A box of a box. All right, you know what? I wonder if this is actually comic books. If you watched the previous video, we ended up op opening toys. No, it, it says a U-line. Is this uh, oh. packing material? This might be for shipping. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, hey, really? Yeah, seriously? Open it up. It's like we say, we never know what's in the box. <laughs> okay, this would be a good, this would be a good outtake video. All right. Hang on, here we go. Is it? Oh no, it's comic books. Okay, whoo. It is so in the U-line box though. I know, I, I was starting <laughs> to think, man. Okay, we ordered some packing supplies and uh, we're doing an unboxing video for them. All right, here we go. All right, bundle one. <laughs> Disaster averted. Although, I don't know, it'd be kind of funny to watch this unload, un unbox like a, a box of labels. We'd have to get shipping in here to be like, all right, we're excited. <laughs> we Oh, they're in really shiny, like brand new bags. All right. Um, I'm going to try to some modern stuff. All right. We got some 75 cent Captain Marvel's Captain America okay, or, or Captain America. Yeah. Captain America. Thank you. I'm back. Crossbones. Namor goes wild. Street of Poison. Now we're now we're into dollar. Label on the book. Or is that on the bag? I think that's on the book. Oh, it's compliments. Okay, really? <laughs> Compliments of us. It's compliments oh, yeah. of Titan Comics in Dallas, Texas, but they they stuck the label on the book. They wanted you to remember. This is free plugging for them now, and oh. I bet they're out of business. I okay. <laughs> Let's we'll look that up. I, I would never. I mean, I we give away books in the shop all the time for free to the kids, but I would never put a label on it. Um, that's just wrong. That's kind of a cool cover. Battling the Blazing Skull. Looks like Dr. Phosphorus. Yeah. So okay. These are, these are dollar books, though. I mean. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're into, like, the, the 90s. I mean... I it, mean, they're good comics, but... Yeah, like, but, but, uh, but yeah. I'm surprised this is a collection but of who, Well, hang on. We haven't got... I mean... But who was buying Marvel in the 90s? Why not Image? That is my question. I bought both. <laughs> Why? I bought DC. Uh, <laughs> Why? Why? Well, that's Duke? a little Why? better. Oh yeah, this is. Oh, that's wow. That's really that's nice. In shape. It's a nice thirty-five cent Marvel. I don't know if it's a key. Oh, here we go. This is why we bought the collection. McFarlane. Everyone loves McFarlane. Yeah, classic. I. I it still bugs me though. I mean, the way his the, the just the angle of his hand, it doesn't. It just doesn't work, right? It doesn't need to work. <laughs> it looks cool. It does look cool, but the, the, the claws are fake. Like, the angle of the claws doesn't... His body would not bend that way. No! Neither would Spider-Man. <laughs> but you know what? It looks cool. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, first Thunderbolts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mike Diodato Jr., he's, I like his art. It's pretty cool. First Ooh. Professor Hulk. Yeah. First print too. Yeah, the, the two, older prints. The are older prints are where the hard, more, blah, blah, blah. Hard, I can't talk. They're so. harder to find and considerably more valuable. Next one. Mm. All right, let's see. Okay, here we go. 
Yeah, throw that over there. Boop. All right. More Captain America. Uh, it's a 65 cent Captain America. Not very nice. That's probably a dollar book as well. Captain America. Oh, more of those picture frame covers we were talking about. Here's the Captain America version. What was the what was the last Asterix one? Asterix C previous video. It was uh, X Men. X Men, yeah. Or Uncanny X Men. Yeah, Uncanny X Men, yeah. These are cool covers. Is that Zach? No, well, that's not Zach. No, it, John it, Byrne, I think, who did one. No, I think that's Zach. Byrne the, did. Uh, you sure it's not Zach? Well, Byrne was on three thirteen, so. It yeah, no, it's easy. definitely Zach. I mean, look, this one is Zach, and look, look at the art. Yeah, that looks like it's that. It's definitely... You know how I know it's Zach? The way he does the teeth. There's just something... Like, that's... I don't know. I can usually tell when he draws the guns, but I haven't seen any guns, really, on the... This character G confused a lot of kids. Oh, yeah, no kidding. It's Wolverine. No, wait. <laughs> it's a parody it's of Wolverine. Demolition Man cracks up. More Zach. And then now we're into probably getting into the, the 90s where it's like unknown artist. Oh, here we go. This is a cover swipe from uh, Avengers 4. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I like that Demolition Man has the Daredevil D, but he only has one. That is so... That looks just like... Oh, it, it's totally the Daredevil D. What are they doing? They basically took Wolverine and Daredevil and put it into one character. That's that's exactly what that is. You're right. See, so we totally could do Stilt Frog. Yeah, it's the Stilted <laughs> Frog. Here you go. Here we go again. His, his stilts <laughs> propel him. We've just lost 10 subscribers. They're like, I've had it with the Stilt Man Are you kidding crap. me? We just gave Marvel 10 years worth of work. <laughs> there, we got a... 12 cent cap. Issue 112. John Byrne era. Punisher. Uh, that's a good. Ooh, that's a great cover. Yeah, I, I like this one. Oh, it's Frank. That's right. It's Frank Miller. Although, I don't know how long Cap could stand like that. That's an uncomfortable pose. <laughs> Is he trying you'll, to? You'll stand like that as long as you need to, and there's a gun like inches from your chest. Although he must be able to take a bullet, right? I mean, you no. Think. Well, he's got that chain mail. That's what that's for, isn't it? Plus, oh, he's a super soldier. I mean, that would. I don't think does he, that do he's, nothing? he's not bulletproof, though. I was confused as a kid because I thought that chain mail was like. Oh yeah. Scales. Well, I can see that, or or I would think feathers because of a lot of them. Look almost like feathers. Uh, constrictor is that that? Yeah. Yeah, constrictor. All right. That's oh, a good cover. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, that's a that's a frameable cover right there. Yeah, for sure. The original art. Oh man, that would be so sweet. When are we going to start getting into original art? It's just not as much out out there to buy you know mm. dc go go the, checks i was gonna say <laughs> i love the dc parody on the cover oh yeah look at that i also like the red skull modok oh modok when is he gonna be in a movie oh uh, the leaper oh my god stiltman versus the leaper no this that is, no, I, this, this is it's the tumbler oh the tumbler that's what it says tumbler leaper hmm and then, isn't one of them Batroc? Isn't Batroc? Is he a Tumbler or a Leaper? Batroc, I don't know, but I, I remember know. he's in Captain America. <laughs> That's about all I know of that. Oh my god, we still have one more. One more bundle. One more the fun bundle never stops. Go. I know. I know. And it's all underground. I bet this is more. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet this is more Captain America. I think you're probably right. Oh, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's uh, Captain Canuck. <laughs> it's. Oh, wow, modern stuff. Totally Very awesome. Very modern. First weapon Hulk or weapon Alpha or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, it's like the Hulk with Wolverine claws, right? Yeah. There's two. Well, hang on. That's oh. the first. Oh, it's a different cover. Yeah. One, it's like one, a variant. 
It's a variant or oh no, Ooh. it's a second print. Ah, uh, okay. Right there, second print. Are these books? This is worth something, right? Ethan has the has this in like a nine eight, doesn't he? Oh, is that Even the? Though it shouldn't have been a nine eight. That's the one that it I'm like. Should have been like a nine four. Yeah. <laughs> there's like three very noticeable spine kicks. Right, I remember that book. Oh, this is a good cover. The only thing with our new lights is with the bags. The books tend to have some glare. It's because these are real shiny bags. Yeah. Too. All right, we got some. Hulk. Dollar cover, Incredible Hulk. That's a great cover. Hulk, Dale Keown art. Hulk showing a, or Hulk bra a brandishing a, a Gatling gun, yeah. Hello? 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 Hi. How's it going? Good going, how are you? Pretty good. You got anything going out? Uh, we just had, uh, I think, USPS show up. Mail call. More <laughs> unboxing. <laughs> that, you talk about glossy. It's got like it's a shiny cover from the '90s. She's sparkly. Very sparkly. It's uh, issue 400. 407. When did McFarland do it? He was in the. Oh, he was like in the in the '80s. I don't know the exact issues. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't. I if you ask me like what issue something happened except for like the obvious big keys i i know them by sight not by number now is that first red uh, i think this yeah i think this is the first red hulk what did i miss is that uh, first red miss hulk uh i don't think so because oh, i don't know first red hulk cover i don't think it's the first red hulk because i have it that's the only reason i don't think it's the first red hulk all right well we'll have to have someone so we'll, we'll comment. Have I, I have this issue. Oh. What about this one? Hulk, Red Hulk, collecting one. One, three. Oh, one th so this is basically like... It's this book plus issues two and three. Oh. Huh. It's like a... It's not It's not a it's trade like a paper trade, bag. Almost. It's like a trade, yeah. but it's not. It's a single issue trade. Hulk 21. Is that the first Red Hulk? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. I, I don't know, man. This is where Ethan comes How in. How about this? Is this the first Red Hulk? No. no <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say no. Oh, is this the poor man's uh, 181? No. Oh, it's That's 160. a great abomination cover, though. It's a, a, a 159. It's actually it's a 20 cent cover. Pretty nice. Yeah. Abomination. Tiger Shark versus the Hulk. Alright, 279. Some Mignola covers. 304. I actually really like the Mignola Hulk. Another one of those picture frame covers. I tell you, we gotta make a whole set of that. <laughs> oh, here we go. We are. There you go. McFarlane. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I thought. No, maybe not. That, no, that's not Mc... It's right around this era, though, isn't it? You can tell they were definitely <laughs> borrowing from McFarlane. Yeah, it kind of looks like him, but it's not him. It, they're, they were trying to cash in on that stuff. Right, yeah. It's uh, Incredible Hulk versus the Incredible Hulk. Uh, the Hulk, Hulk versus, versus Santa. Christmas. That's great. That's a good cover. Doc Samson, Abomination, and Speed Freak. All right. That's it. So once again, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, subscribe, notification bell, do it. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. You, I'm telling you, you, you it's, it'd be like the best thing you ever did. Okay, maybe not. No, maybe maybe the best thing you did this week. Yeah, the best thing you ever did this week. <laughs> also, check us out on the web at sellmycomicbooks.com and .comcomics.com and at ebay.com comics. Till next time. Later. All right, I'm not dancing anymore. <laughs>